The whole point in the kitchen is it is something that looks light, and I think that isn't light, is it? I no. Mean, unless you did go for something that was literally like that and just straight weave down the back, and it was super symmetrical, super. It is just, a statement. Just, just a statement, you know, like you say, five meter top, five meter woven back, and then just doors along the front. That's a hell of a statement. So, that, so they're going to see both sides equally. I and think we can't have a cupboard there. Well, that, that's gonna, we were going to send the one in the showroom, weren't we? We are going to send them an upright. Oh, we are having an upright cupboard. Yeah, it was oh, good. that's great. So I think what they're saying is that the floor is going to be, I'm not saying different to the open areas, but the floor is going to be covered in, um, in tea leaves. Mm. In tea leaves? Mm. Really? I sort of like the idea of, of more of the of the legs, especially under either end. So yeah, I don't it's like got tea leaves. Leaves. Yeah. If it's got tea leaves going underneath, going underneath. that would be really nice. Yeah, yeah I, I quite like this idea of this being inset um, in some way so that it you can see the copper sink yeah. all the way around. And, um, uh, so it's just and the worktop that's really holding it up, so it's not too much of... Yeah, I didn't really. Oh, I could do that. Yeah, yeah, you could have it so that the worktop's just got so a hole kind cut of in it. Yeah, in so it does hang between two bits of furniture. Yeah. So they could be two and a half meters. And we could, big and then we could surface mount this thing. I mean, obviously, we're thinking with that normally we would cut a hole and under mount it. But actually, well, those pictures I sent you since the other day, the Victorian ones, were actually you could, you could see the lip right around it. So that, I think that would be uh, really Tom, nice. Could you bring that sink over for us? Is there no way then that we can have one bit that's not wood? Because I think, I think a five we, I think metre runner like well. that is a bit. If we can, if we're too nervous to send granite or marble, then what about zinc or mm. even copper? Mm. It need only be one mm. third of it, so yeah. it would only have to be kind of. It would be under two metres. What about copper? Yeah, or we do can do copper. Do you think zinc and copper would? If you had wood, copper, zinc might be a bit much. The way that well, they'll be kind of able to see the weave from the back, so I well, think I, we should So we're going to have a definitive front and a definitive no, back? No, I kind of think it needs to look good from the back too. I, I think um, have kind of like a bit uh, coming having an alternate it. front, like and really uh, like you said, kind of so like we switch that round, mm. and then, uh, like Ben said, mm. put the mm. tap in the corner, mm. so you can use it from both sides. Kind of like I kind of like that as well. How wide does that sink? Uh, 450. 450. So it's almost. So it's going to be inset quite a bit. That's yeah, it can be inset from both <laughs> sides, can it? So, um, got quite a few ideas, and I think people are starting to. Um, uh, maybe some people favour one, some people favour another. But I think maybe we've got time to think about it, each of the ideas that we've had. Um, It'd be nice if you could do a bit of a quick wings then on the winter. And I love um, that adjoining. Yeah, I do. I think, it's really I think it looks nice. And I quite like the look of this. Woven on one side, cupboards on the other, and then from the other side, it's exactly the same. It's like when you're walking cupboards up the stairs. On one side, woven on the other. When you're walking up the stairs here, and you see the back of that tall cupboard, it's such a yeah, lovely thing. It is a nice yeah. thing. But I wouldn't want to see all back because no. then it becomes really bland. Yeah, and you um, wonder what it is. Whereas if you walk in one way and you see both from both sides, yeah. and they're kind of standalone pieces of furniture. Mm. Both of those things. Mm. Yeah. If someone wanted to. Have that piece in the showroom but didn't want a full kitchen display take out the middle bit and mm. still got and then but you could have somebody working on one side and somebody working on the other because yeah. it's kind of so it's completely if you have oh, really like it. one bit with the glass doors so you can see so you can get some nice light in there look this is dead easy to make this it's, it's two cupboards it's exactly the same, the same. Mm. two slatted doors they're short we've got no problems with them We've got woven back panels, we've put them the other way round, put the draining board on one side, put the taps on the other. It's starting to look a really mm. nicely balanced, mm. authentic so these concept. Well, we can make the worktop bigger than the cabinet. You can oversail the worktop, yeah, yeah. You could have a little overhang like we've got on the one in the showroom, can't you hear? It looks nice with an extended overhang, mm. I think. On one side and kind of... I just think it's really, really simple um, mm. and um, no, I think it's quite it's elegant. Good. The way that that's held is really important, yeah. though, I think. I, I, I think that should be really light, almost like it's just floating yeah. between the two. It'd be really nice. I think we're actually talking about tiny little details of how things fit mm. together, and I think it's usually when you make it that we get the real finessing of that. We've got a really unique, individual, creedy-made um, copper worktop rather than a fabricated one. 
you know, there's a whole, and we've got a copper sink that's totally on display, which is completely unique, mm. and no one's ever seen one like that before. So I like with this. like little no, rivets on it. This. I like the fact that this everybody's is going to be wood. Input. Um, so you, all you would need to do to attach the sink to and the And you know how they kind of say underneath. design by committee never works. I think it's just a matter yeah. of like state of mind. It depends on the committee. If, yeah, if if everybody's accepting of everyone else's designs and they don't mm. like like fight for like ownership of their own idea, then um, I think designing with a bunch of people works really well. Mm. I like it. I like the way it looks. I like both versions. Um, and I think we've come up with something really original with the suspended sink. Whose idea was that? Seb, Ben, Creedy. Bastard. Okay. <laughs> Alright, I, I like it all.